So our question today is from Blissful. Uh, if I have high FSH, does that mean kids are definitely not happening? How can I lower it? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. So our question today is from Blissful. Uh, if I have high FSH, does that mean kids are definitely not happening? How can I lower it? Dr. Tabitha. Oh my goodness. So one elevated FSH is not the end all be all that number can change. Your brain is in constant communication with your ovaries. They are always having a discussion. Sometimes they're yelling at each other. Sometimes they're whispering and sometimes that communication is shut down and needs to be turned back on. So when your FSH is high, that is usually because your estrogen is low and you can have an elevated FSH that isn't permanently elevated. If you can get that estrogen back online and tell your brain, oh, okay, we're making estrogen again, our, our ovaries are functioning again, it will decrease the amount of FSH that it's producing. And so, you know, we have to be careful with making diagnoses based off on a single lab. You know, if you've had multiple elevated FSH levels for months and you have no sign of any cycle or any period, then yeah, it's going to be a lot harder. But have you tried all of the stuff in Sarah's program? Because if you haven't, then you can't count it out for that. You really can't. Yeah, we just had someone in our program last week. She'd been there for four months and her FSH was always around 60 to 70. And four months in the program, she went to get uh, things checked out and her FSH was at seven. Like she said, her jaw just dropped. She was shocked. And, you know, it's because she's, she's done the work. So definitely, um, you know, That's FSH so can, can change around. There's, there's, there's things to do to improve your chances of pregnancy success. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, send me a DM and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. and send me a DM and please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care. <music>